guys welcome back to my channel we are jumping straight into this clean with me because i have so much to do it's not even funny now if i'm lisping it's because i've got my invisalign in there's a video coming soon so please bear with me but we're going to start in the kitchen and i just wanted to show you guys around the kitchen because this is the state we are dealing with somebody commented actually in one of my last cleaning videos saying do you clean your house every day and um, I do at the moment yeah because we're having a lot of house viewings so but anyway it's been a while and um, there's just things so untidy right now the soup been left here for a couple of days it's absolutely grotesque but I wanted to show you that I do make a mess in the house you know there's soup all over the backsplash like you can see here I've got all the autumn stuff piled up, all cluttering the kitchen, ready to go away in the garage. Ralphie's had a little milk in his bowl. <laughs> There's a sink full of dishes. The sink is absolutely disgusting, not going to lie. So yeah, I do make a mess in my house, um, but I do clean it quite regularly too. I'm more untidy than I am unclean, really. So we're going to start in the kitchen and we are stripping it right back, back to minimalism and ready for the Christmas decorate with me. Oh my God, guys, I am so excited. Let's get straight into this video. So I always start by unloading the dishwasher for the day, putting all the bits and bats away and then reloading it. Some people absolutely hate this job. I actually don't mind um, doing the dishwasher, I really don't. I find it really satisfying when they come out like dishwasher clean, it's so good. And if you don't stop for a sing song mid clean, we can't be friends. I then like to put a wash on because by the time I've finished, it's done. I am so excited to pull out the Zoflora winter morning. It was in fact frosty first thing this morning. So yeah, that just fills me with excitement. Like, you know Christmas is coming, don't you? I actually enjoy the month of November, you know, I really do. The run up to Christmas, it's like the real true run up to Christmas. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wash around the sink area and get all the food out, ew, so that we can fill it with Zoflora and then give everything a really good wipe down. Oh my God, it's my favorite bit. I actually enjoy cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> I'm an actual psychopath. actually time these clean with me videos very well because every time I'm due to do a clean with me video we get another house viewing so like it just times perfectly well you know love that for me I also like to give every bottle anything that's hanging around uh, the sink that's always out I like to give that a good wipe down as well so I'm moving on to the kettle toaster chopping board area. I'm just going to give everything a really good wipe down. I've totally forgotten to move the kettle and the toaster. So we'll do that now. <laughs> and again, I'm using the Zoflora Winter Morning with a little bit of Fairy Liquid, the apple flavor which i didn't mention in my last autumn clean with me video but i get the apple in the autumn because honestly it makes a big difference what flavor very liquid you get so popping all the appliances back giving them all a really good wipe down with the zoflora and then the chopping board goes back i like to put that in the sink and give that a really good soak <laughs> Okay, now moving on to the other side of the kitchen, which is my cooking station. That's where the hob is and all the plates, cutlery, everything that I need to cook with. And it's time to put everything away from the dishwasher. So first of all, we're going to do that. 
and then we're going to remove everything from the sides to the other side it's just a case of moving everything around isn't it guys like from one spot to another and we call it cleaning <laughs> So again, on this side, I'm just giving everything a really good wipe down with whatever's in my sink. Also, did I mention I'm still using the pumpkin scrub daddy and this is the final time I'll use it. It'll go away after today with the rest of the autumn stuff. That backsplash needed a right good clean. It was full of soup. <laughs> this is actually a pizza board. I use it for display purposes and then I put on there my rice and vinegars and olive oils this side I have chopping boards candles and I'm using up the white pumpkin candle then it's time to fill up the Brita jug and water the plants let's not forget about the plants in the winter time so we're giving Norman a really good water. He is the best house plant I have ever, ever had. He's just so good. The biggest leaf you can see is actually the newest leaf that came through, which is so exciting. Now we've repotted him, he's going to grow ginormous. Who remembers when I first bought this plant years ago? And here is the after. The after is being filmed and it's going dark outside, guys. So that's why the lighting has changed. How glowy are the candles all lit. It looks super cozy. It smells lovely and fresh and clean. This is the dining area. It's all nice and clean and tidy. I am going to get some LED lighting underneath this windowsill, guys, for the winter time, especially Christmas. I think that'll look really, really good. I like it when there's LED hidden lighting like behind shelves and things because as you can see there's no lighting up in the sunroom roof. I can't wait to put my Christmas tree up in this corner. Another view of the kitchen. You can see my coffee bar and tall bar units from this angle and I really can't wait to style up my farmhouse shelves for the Christmas time. Okay, moving on to the bathroom now. I best put some light on so you guys can see, but that's better. I just wanted to show you guys this room as it is before I give it a good clean. So we've got towels all over the sinks. The sinks need a right good clean down. I've got all my Invisalign stuff, mouthwash, extra mouthwash, stuff like that. I'm still trying to come up with a good routine. So everything's everywhere at the moment. I need to reorganize myself. Um, so I'm gonna probably do that after I've done this clean with me video. When everything's all neat and tidy. Also these olive leaves, I think I might want to swap these out for Christmas. So I might even take these out of the bars and try something new for the Christmas period. So stay tuned for the Christmas Decorate With Me. So again in this room I want to strip it right back to basics. I want a fresh clean slate, quite bare looking actually, ready for the Christmas Decorate With Me and there's just too many products out on show at the moment when we've got all this decent storage so yeah i'm gonna strip it right back give it all the right good clean and then reorganize it's amazing how like quickly clutter can start collecting up again in your house and you don't notice so much and yeah so clear house clear mind Moving on to the towel radiator, I like to just check anything needs to go in the wash and then pop everything back on the radiator neatly. Also, hubby just cleaned out the bath and the shower, so it actually only needs a rinse this time. So, we are now in the bedroom where the magic happens. <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't resist that, it's so, so cliche. So apart from opening the curtains this morning, we didn't open the blinds, but this bed is exactly how we left it first thing this morning. I've got clothes now accumulating on the bed. I've got bed socks still there. I need to give the duvet a real good shake. And yeah, it's just generally untidy and the bed needs making. So 
that's what we're going to do. Probably let some light in here. That would be a good idea and crack a window open because, you know, fresh air is good for the soul, as they say. Okay, first of all, why don't men open curtains properly and like leave them straight? Because mine just opens them and he doesn't care if they're even on each side, etc. Is, is my husband the only one that does that? let me know in the comments so i'm just plumping up the bed pillows and giving the duvet a real good shake out we've got a feather down duvet so it really does benefit from a real good shake every time you make it love a good karate chopped pillow <laughs> he's like this every time i'm making the bed he won't leave me alone and we're pretty much done in here just popping some clothes back away in the wardrobe and folding up my pajamas can't wait to get back into the pajamas if i'm being totally honest with you guys <laughs> i have this rug in here now by the way so we have a bird of paradise plant in our bedroom and let's not forget to give her a really really good water she doesn't need a lot of watering to be honest with you because she's a tropical birds of paradise plant and she prefers a tropical climate so she's called pandora and she's dead easy to look after and she's a massive big statement plant i love her okay guys i'm pretty embarrassed about this room i'm not gonna lie so this is my office slash dressing room slash filming room and it's probably the most used room um probably after the kitchen yeah so this is such a bloody mess i can't even tell you i've left it like this to show you guys that when i finish getting ready or filming in the mornings or for the day this is what my room looks like i've still got bats from the autumn halloween decor <laughs> which need putting away I might keep these branches, you know, though, because love that look. I've got all my Invisalign stuff from the other day that I've just dumped on here, so it's a bit of a dumping ground as well. I've got all my makeup out, mirror, everything you could possibly need. An army of things to help get me ready in the morning. Also, guys, can we just appreciate the light seeping through into this room? That's why I love this room so much. I've got a used coffee cup, I've got Primark haul bags down there. I've even got a pair of boots on my shelves, for God's sake. Do you know what though? I might style these shelves up in a fashionable kind of way. You'll see what I mean in a minute when we get going. But yeah, um, it's wonderful sunlight out there today. I've got used wipes and fake tan and there's a bag dumped on there as well. That's totally empty that bottle i've also got my clothing rail which has got loads of clothes dumped all over it that's where i film my outfits of the day in here so that rail comes in super handy i use it all the time but it always needs a good organize i've got this coat that needs to go on vintage i just need to just reorganize it and make it just look a bit more presentable in this room i don't know why i don't just put things back on the hangers in the first place i'm not the only one that does this i'm not the only like creator that does this if they're doing like holes and reels i'm sure i've seen it before and now it's happening to me so first things first start putting my makeup products away and my mirror so i'm just putting it in this makeup case i've just took all the hair out of my brush <laughs> I've got a little towel that I lay out as well in the morning. I really love doing this separately rather than having a vanity table because you get, you get to put all the clutter away and having a handheld mirror means you can pick it up and move it around the room so you can see your makeup in different lights. I think that's really important. So yeah, it's just a case of clearing away the sides. I've got dentist appointments that need to go in the diary so I've just popped them in there. I've got myself some Winter Spice wipes from Zoflora to clean down the office with and I like to keep a pack of these in the drawers as well in here. The smell guys, the smell, I wish you could smell through the screen 
Okay, moving on to my clothing rail. So I've just took everything off it, give it a right good organize and then put everything back on that I'm going to need in the next couple of days. Also, little hack, I was going to buy myself some like boot inserts, you know, to keep the shape of your boots from Amazon. However, I just had a really good idea. All the plastic bags from the supermarket, which I find really, really awkward in storing in the kitchen. They're always not more or less falling out of the cupboard. I thought I would wrap them up and stuff my boots with them. What a great hack. A great storage option for your carrier bags. Also, killing two bears with one stone, we're keeping the shape of our boots without having to buy like a separate contraption. <laughs> I just think it's genius. You could also stuff your handbags as well to keep their shape while they're sat on your shelf or in the wardrobe. And ta-da, they are done. Look how well they look now. They look very, very full indeed. And that's the office all done. I like to stick on a crackling fire for ambience. And I've got the big light on so you guys can see because it's getting a bit dark in here. And this is my new shelving area. I do film my outfits of the day uh, with this backdrop. So I thought it might be nice to style it fashionably because it is my dressing room as well as my office and I work in fashion so it just makes a, a lot of sense marrying up the two do you know what I mean I love the way this looks I need to do the other side I need to restyle the other side but like I said we'll be decorating for Christmas very soon so I might not even bother it's clean and tidy anyway I like it Oh, actually, let's put the four candles on. These are from Amazon and I love them. I'm going to buy some more for Christmas time. I just love how church candles look. And this is my tidy rail. It will not stay tidy for long, guys. So take it in. I'm going to take it all in. I'm going to touch all my clothes. I'm going to appreciate how tidy this looks for one second before it gets into the state again that it normally does. Okay, moving on to the hallway. So a quick scan of the hallway. We just need to pick up a few bits and bats like shoes all over the floor. There's boots need to go away. And then this little um, coat area. Ash hangs his coats up here because obviously they have rain on them. And then they dry and we put them away because only aesthetically pleasing coats are allowed on this section. <laughs> It'll need probably a little dust and a wipe down as usual and a hoover at the end and we're pretty much done in here. I do like to use my radiator cover as a little dumping ground for keys and things. I'm going to remove these autumn sunflowers because we're going to get ready for the christmas boot room i like to style that area up seasonally as well so can't wait to do the whole way putting our way all the shoes we have these storage baskets for shoes dog leads etc and we're just getting rid of all the clutter including this pampas grass Thank you. 